I don't know what it was. He's walking upright like a man. Sightings in and around Vermont. Bigfoot sightings across New England have been reported. Red glowing eyes, about seven feet tall. Red eyes, big old fang claws coming out through. Three inches long, you know, just as sharp as they could be. There has been another UFO sighting flying over the Royal Botanic Gardens. There are 500 UFO sightings in the world every month. The truth is out there. Uh, we are back, baby. Yeah, we are. Let's get saucy this week. <laughs> let's let's get saucy this week. <laughs> Although apparently we were too saucy last week. Were we too saucy? P- people didn't yeah. like the fun sack. Uh, I I don't know if people didn't like it. We were just very saucy. That's I mean that's sauce is where it's at, man. It's all I got to say. Get yourself some um, sweet baby rays. Put it on bits. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Put it on bits. Do it. Why are you putting it, Why are you putting sweet baby rays on bits? There's I have strong feelings about sweet baby rays because I I have. I have I, strong feelings about Sweet Baby Ray's too, but I wouldn't put Sweet Baby Ray's on bits. Yeah, well, here's the thing. It's not... There's not a lot of spices in Sweet Baby Ray's. So True. it's safer to put on your bits in case, you know, cayenne pepper. Let's. I'll just say there's no cayenne pepper in Sweet Baby Ray's. It's, it's, it's got can't. three ingredients. It's got corn syrup, uh, artificial smoke... And brown food coloring. Those are the three things. Oh, God. I have a bottle in my refrigerator right now. It's that plus preservatives. That's that's actually all it is, is corn syrup, artificial smoke, the color brown, and and preservatives. To be fair, though, Brandon, to be fair, um, preservatives are like all of all sauces ever. Yeah, well... See, that's why I like hot sauce, right? Because the vinegar content is so high, there aren't really, at least for like, lo- if you're if you're fortunate enough to be able to have local hot sauces, there's not really preservatives, and they're and they're pretty shelf stable, you know. Well, well, yeah, because the vinegar is like the preservative. Yeah, Brandon, like yeah. It, you, you're not invalidating my my core hypothesis, yeah, whatsoever, or core thesis rather, because. It's still, it's still just mostly preservative. Yeah, but it's a preservative that you can pronounce, and that's that's really all I need. I mean, the only reason you can't pronounce the other preservatives is because they are they haven't been with human history, human humankind for like like vinegar is not a chemical ever. Ah, uh, Brandon. Brandon, do you do you uh, do you want to go over the fact that like literally everything is a chemical? Let's uh, it, not in the the in the literal sense, but in the colloquial sense. Okay, I mean it's also it's Brandon, like you do have to like. Okay, okay. So you you can make vinegar by accident. You can't make yes. thiamine by accident. <laughs> you probably can. Don't. Don't even. I'm looking it up. I, I've I've never made. I I have made vinegar by accident before. You don't you don't know if you've made thiamine by accident. I also don't know if thiamine's a preservative or some other food stabilizer. Uh, it might be a stabilizer. It's in. Wait, what? Thiamine. It is. Oh, is it's thiamine? vitamin B1. It's a vitamin. Oh, then yeah, no, it, you're not going to accidentally produce a vitamin. That's different. <laughs> That's different. Now you see, you see, Brandon, you see, you gave me the one example. You gave the one example where it's a totally different concept. That the only two things, it's my brain is fucked. The only, the only other chemical I can think of at the moment is L-carnitine. But I know that's not a preservative because that's how I exist during the week. L-carnitine? The primary ingredient to monster. God damn it. At least zero sugar monster. Fair. It's got a cool white can. Oh, also, if any followers want Apex Legends codes, uh, I drink a lot of that, and they have it printed on the back. Hit me up. <laughs> Brandon, how many Apex Legends codes do you have for... <clears throat> I just emptied my recycling can, but I mean, someone would say seven, and I'll probably have seven next week, too. 
Oh no. <laughs> so <laughs> do you gonna get that you got that gamer fuel. Got that gamer fuel. You're gonna get you're gonna get monster mouth. What John? What if I want what? monster mouth? Is that just thrush? <laughs> I mean, uh, so Mountain Dew mouth is a thing, right? Because it has such a high sugar content, it like, oh. and then coupled with like, like you know how you know how like you see somebody who's been smoking meth and they don't have any teeth, yeah, like that, like you know that stereotypical image. Mountain Dew has a non-zero percent. Impact on that happening. So the that's so funny. Also, the because reason there that is so much happens sugar. is that I this is it's been a long time. So so some of this might be incorrect, but I believe that when you smoke meth, there's a chemical close enough to calcium that it replaces that in your teeth, and that's why people who smoke meth lose their teeth because it's literally replaced by meth. <laughs> and it doesn't just become part of the tooth. It just gets replaced and then it's, you know, it's in your mouth. And, and it's and gone. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, no, I think uh, I think that's actually more the thing. Mountain Dew mouth is a separate thing. Um, yeah. But I guess it, it like, not, a, not even a joke. There is a very high, like, precedence of uh, people having, like, destroyed teeth in, like, Appalachia because of it. There's, I used to, I had to train a guy this was years ago my my previous job that did meth and uh it was i just gave up eventually because they wouldn't do meth at work and i kind of wish they would because when you when you're around a meth head oh, like their teeth are like super short because they're all worn down um mm -hmm. you literally fell asleep standing up looking over my shoulder trying to show him something i was like uh i i just kind of gave up and left <laughs> it's like all right you do you buddy i'm busy Oh, and there was another guy, same place that used to do me uh, meth. He fell asleep with a, a, a welding torch in his hand and lit some shit on fire. That's a thing. That, huh. yeah. Yeah. Seems good. It's in New York, too. It's not just the South. No, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> it's everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm, and also, uh, Appalachia is not just the South, too. Like, oh, it's a whole mountain range. Yeah, like, well, Appalachia is, like, also in, like, parts of New York. You could technically consider it Appala Appalachia, I think. Because uh. we, we, well, the Appalachian Mountains definitely end in, like, they go up through New York, through and into New York, I think. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. actually, like, right by us. Yeah, like, pretty much. Just a little, like, not our county, but the next one up is... Appalachia. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. No, it is. It is. I've been there. Learning. Look, look at us learning. Oh, and the I, listeners. Look learning. at that. We're a whole community. There's people there. There's you. We're involving you, the listener. You're because you're so beautiful and moist. Anyway, welcome to Cryptopedia, an exploration of the myths and legends that haunt the human mind. Each week, we'll take you on a journey exploring the mysteries of the world, tackling tales of monsters, folklore, the paranormal, and that thing that definitely lives under your bed. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and there is an, uh, parts of New York are in fact considered at Appalachia. Yeah, like, up until like the middle of it, almost. Yeah. Actually, not I even mean, almost, it, up until the middle of it. It's western New York. Like, like Western New York that isn't Rochester or Utica or basically anywhere that's a city. Yeah. Oh, you know that explains a lot now that I think about it. It kind of does. Yeah. And also this is not intended as like a teardown of Appalachia by the way because Appalachia has been like really really fucked over by corporations and like like what happened? Like one of the the problems is like a lot of corporations bought the land rights to people's homes, right? And cool. They then they then like you know mined the shit out of them, which more or less made the land basically worthless. So, like you can pretty much pin all of Appalachia's problems on corporate greed. So you know, fair. There. A Not lot to of, a lot of problems. 
Yeah, I I'm not trying to I'm not trying to to shit talk Appalachia by any stretch of the imagination. It's a place with people who are fine, like you know, people are fine. It's just it has systemic issues that need to be reckoned with. Fair, like a lot of America. Oh, to be fair, that like a lot of America. The the, the less well, this is a fu- huge lie. The last sidetrack. Um, they're uh, gonna gonna open up a bunch of um, uh, dispensaries in the city I'm in, and I'm hoping yeah. right because they they have to figure out what to do with the revenue from that, and they said they want to put it back in the city uh, into the the town. I'm hoping that all the weed stores will fix the fucking roads. That would be nice. Like all that weed money will give them enough money to fix the roads instead of just putting the- up signs saying the road is fucked. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the roads are fucked in and around this area yeah. by like a like very seriously fucked. Yeah, and they don't fix them. They literally install official oh. like the Department of Transportation just puts up a sign that says "Heads up, the roads fucked," and they don't fix it. Like they just keep like <laughs> no lies have been detected in Brandon's words. By the way, no whatsoever. Just, just the roads fucked. That's it. Yeah, it's. It's pretty frustrating. Yeah. They're, Do you know? Well, well, what you call it? When I left them, like a couple years back, I got a flat tire because of a pothole at the fucking mall. That's how bad the roads are. It's it's still there. The, I know. I know. So, okay. I, I know. Which, I know which one you're talking. You know which one I'm talking about. The, the one by the spot. Target. It's always the same spot. It's, yeah. I, I'm there. There's actually two spots. There's one if you're leaving Target. Here's some hyper local shit. If you take a right mm-hmm. and then take the first exit on the left, like you're trying to go to Lowe's, that's where one really bad one mm-hmm. is. Alternatively, yep, yep, that's the one that that's the one that took out your tire. There's always that's another the one, that took my tire. one. If you go straight and take a left to the fr- and where it gives you the first exit to NW, that one's also got a big fucking pop. You're all for just decades. It's great. Um, yeah, th- it's pretty good. And then they just good. appear in different spots. It's oh so good. It's, it made me it made me rage eat a piece of bread. It's good. which I think I talked about on this podcast, my my rage eating. I you definitely just have the about worst it. luck. You did uh, I've you have the worst car luck out of other than my neighbor, but that doesn't count cuz he, he his car problems are also like his three kids and his wife. So technically it's five different people having car problems. I don't count that as all just just him. But you have yeah. uh No, I have I have some astoundingly poor car luck, but then again, I do also probably drive more than anyone I know but my dad. You drive more than any well I don't know of outside anybody outside of other... people I work with, you drive more than anybody I know. Fair I enough. where I work there's people who commute from like different states to to uh come in. That's a that's a choice that they made. That's a choice, or like some people—they have no one to blame but themselves. Some people like, well, they, we haven't had someone do this in a couple of years, but some people live in like California and they'll like fly out for the week and then fly back on the weekends. Mm-hmm. Um, Weird. Anywho, today we're talking about the Ningen, literally meaning uh, human in Japanese mm-hmm. uh, pronunciation. I don't know. I'm just going for it. Ningen. <clears throat> the Ningen uh, is a large aquatic creature that roams the waters of Antarctica as well as the Pacific and Atlantic oceans. Uh, it's described yeah, does as it? it does. It a hundred percent does. Are you sure about that? Don't question the fucking picture, John. That's real. I mean, it the, looks super real. I gotta say, it looks like the, a. It looks like if a human and a frog had a child, but like it grew super big for some reason. Tr- it does. It. It does not at all well, look like well, someone's other- first shot at 3DS Max or Mesh, mesh Mixer. At all. <laughs> well, I mean, so the problem, like, the thing is, the picture, it's 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 missing the back. Like, I think that's supposed to be a fin, right? Like, it is. It looks I like believe a tail so. Fin. It should be a tail I fin. I think yeah. it's supposed to be like a like a, a mermaid, roughly. Yeah. Um, but the, the person next to them is, it's basically like a person next to a whale shark. That's a good way to picture it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for those listening, it is. If you picture... If you've ever seen someone next to a whale shark, but that whale shark is, like, the the uh, bastard progeny of a frog and a human that was mm-hmm. in a nuclear accident and expanded to, like, 30 it, times its original size. 
it looks like the man's about to get bored. Is all I'm gonna say. He about to get bored. <laughs> he gonna get bored. <laughs> he's he gonna gush. Uh, mm-hmm. It's described as a 60 to 90 foot long, smooth, blubbery creature with a pale white complexion. Um, not unlike myself. Uh, however, yeah, I mean, I, I was about to say it's basically <laughs> me. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm slow. I'm slowly becoming the Ningen. Uh, however, the stand-up part of this creature is that it has human-like features. Uh, from its appendages to its creepy, smoothed-out, um, not-quite-human face. Um, Still, like, honestly, it's it's all, like, kind of describing you or I. Yeah, like, when we get found in the Hudson, you know, with the water blow. Which is, which is always, that, that everyone, that's gonna be how it happens. It's inevitable. We, we just, it's gonna happen, because for whatever reason, Brandon and I are gonna decide to go on a boat ride. And that's just going to be when it happens. That's how it's going to go. This will be it's what we look like. It's just going to go that way. Yes. Uh, supposedly, these creatures were rumored to have been seen in the late 1900s. However, no original source materials can be found to support this. Uh, I do I do want to point out that, like, you say the late 1900s, right, Brandon? But that's, like, our lifetime? Yeah, literally when we were born. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The origin of this creature um, would seem to be from a forum on 2Channel, uh, which mm-hmm. would explain why the sightings from the 1900s can't be found. They're an urban legend from the interwebs. Yeah, and 2Channel didn't exist until, like, 2000-something. It was uh, it, it was an official... I think originally 2Channel was, like, a... Uh, it was specifically referring to, like, 2Channel Fataba radios for, like... Model airplane oh, no shit. piloting. That is a orig- That is the origin of two channel. Two channel. Yeah. That's that crazy. Is all of the fucked up shit in the world that has spawned from so, 4chan R- and RC like whatever. Planes not- spawned QAnon. Yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. RC pa- planes are responsible for QAnon. There's a, a, dr- a literal, like an actual direct lineage. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, well, it goes yeah, two, cause the, 2chan, ter- then 4chan, then 8chan, right? Because all these people, they get to add. Um, and then that's where Q came from. <laughs> uh, wait one sec. Let me see. Futaba. All right, isn't it? early history. Yeah, it was 2chan. And it then, was... F- and then, like, they're like, oh, well, 2chan, we'll make a 4chan, it'll be more fun and less restrictive. And then they're all like, oh, but you can't have child porn, so we'll make a, another eight, less eight, restrictive version. We'll call eight, it 8chan, eight so we can share yeah. porn and uh, uh, politics stuff. And then Q. I think, maybe I mis- misinterpreted it. Oh, wait, no, it's a reference to a VHF channel, too. The default setting of RF, RF modulators used in early generation game consoles when connecting to Japanese television sets. Yeah, same. Uh, I, I don't want to say same. I want to say similar here because when I first started playing on like my 64 and the NES and that, I had to switch the TV to channel 2 and then like flip a switch on something to get the game system to actually display on uh, the TV. So Okay, yeah. Th- that, so- th- that makes sense. So I was wrong. It's not. It's not based off of the RC thing, but it is based off of video games, which of course everything goes back to video games. Everything. Uh, <clears throat> the individual posting claimed to have been working on a quote government whale research vessel when one of these creatures rose up from the depths. Yes, a whale research vessel. That is yeah, totally that a thing. Is exactly what it was. The anonymous that is crew 100% member. Hundred percent what it was. <laughs> along with fellow researchers, scrambled up the deck to catch a glimpse of what they initially thought was a foreign submarine, uh, in quotes, floating on the horizon. However, as the research vessel approached the object, it became evident they were not dealing with a man-made thing, but a live behemoth, and the crew stared in awe at this biological anomaly until it submerged moments later. And I included, um, uh, uh, like an underwater camera type deal image there's a little bit of japanese text in the upper right hand corner um so that could be like literally anything that could be like, any any literally uh, any whale 
Well, not Honestly, any whale. Any like snub nosed whale. That could be that could be a penis with with uh like fucking googly eyes on it. This is from R slash Glorp. What? This is R. Is that a thing? Uh I don't I don't want to see a bunch of penises with googly eyes, Brandon, just as a heads up. Like I don't want that. So it's it's not <laughs> I was gonna say something, but it turns out I was it's wrong. explicitly that. <laughs> oh no, there's, the there's, thing there's it's here's the thing. It wasn't intended to be explicitly penis with the googly eyes. It was supposed to be a bunch of other stuff. But guess who found out and just started like shit posting everything, dudes. But there's you can give those up. Oh, all, that's that. Oh, that's that's awful. No. Oh God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, the that, first that, one was the worst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that is not what that is not what the Ningen looks like in that image. Okay. <laughs> See, science. I'm gonna say you I'm gonna corrected. say uh, no. I'm gonna say it's either uncircumcised or erect, because otherwise, it doesn't look <laughs> like the Ningen in this image. Oh, there are persistent rumors. I'm so happy you got to share that with somebody. <laughs> there are persistent rumors because I, I, I'm, I'm wounded by that. I'm not putting that in the show notes. By the way, that don't, is not going in the show notes. Don't put it in the show notes. So, if you want to find out what what we're talking about, you're gonna have to navigate to r r slash gorp by yourself. I used to do that so much to Erica because she thought it. She hated it. I do it, well, and then I'd be like, "Hey, look what I found online!" And it'd just be a picture with googly eyes on it. <laughs> it should be like, "Stop!" Well, um, remember, uh, remember back in the day when, like, uh, you and you and Steven were pretty prolific about this. Kept them uh, in my glove putting, compartment, huh? I kept a bag of googly eyes in my glove compartment. God damn it, Brandon. I, I was what I was talk what I was gonna talk about was the fact that you and Brandon would put like meat spin on everything. Oh yeah, you, know, you and Steven. Sorry, I don't know why I said you yeah. and Brandon. But you and they, your alternate self. They eventually blocked it, so we had to switch over to leak spin. Yeah, that yeah, was, I remember that. That was fun. Um, there are percent. I I miss playing Quake in. Uh, I I miss like land parties at school when they when you're supposed to be doing actual schoolwork. <laughs> Or so here's the thing. We used to play like old Civ in the computer lab during like class when we're supposed to be learning how to do like web programming. I mean, in all honesty, if we're going to be real, uh, Civ probably gave you more life skills than whatever type of web programming they were trying to teach you in high school. It absolutely did. It absolutely did, cause cause they're generally talking about HTML and like nobody writes basic HTML anymore from yeah, scratch. And like they used some uh, uh, um, uh, uh, IDE that I've never seen before or since in that class to teach us. Weird. It was it was like super eh. weird. It had like a if I remember like a pale pinkish, grayish like outline on the border. Uh, I've just never seen anyone coding anything. Like I've, I don't code, but I've, I've see people code all the time at work, and they've never fucking seen that fu- fucking software. Um, For a while, I coded in exclusively Vim. Oh, fun! I loved it actually. I was so good at it. Like, not even <laughs> joking. I got really good at co- uh, programming in Vim. I can't do it anymore because it was all like muscle memory and like yeah, whatnot. And I'd have to like do it again for a bit but it was so easy and like ah it was so quick to like find stuff because i could like i could colon q exclamation point if i didn't want to save what i was writing uh period period uh cd period period to go back to the top level directory and then i could type uh grep dash rn whatever i needed to find splat and then i could just fucking find stuff so easily oh oh Honestly, Ugh. MySpace taught me so much more about coding than the class in school. Like I mean, significantly that more. Me. That, like, that's believable. Like so much. Like it's so much. 
so much more. To, to, to this day, I'll still go into, um, view the source code on, like, news articles and, like, change it to some fucked up thing and then send it to people. Like, a screenshot, not because if I send them the link, it'll fix it. But I'll send them a screenshot yeah. and be like, do you see the shit about Britney Spears? And then they'll be like, oh my god! But I got in. It's fake. Um, she let me smash. Um, there are persistent oh, no. rumors that she just Britney got married. Alone. She just got married. Congratulations. Um, yeah. She, she had a rough life. She like, did. Her eyes. Everyone gave. Cri- still everyone gave cri- me out. They do. I haven't seen them in recent, like at all. Oh, if you look at any picture, she always looks like she's like surprised. Not surprised, but that she intends to stab you in the throat, but is biding her time. Oh, that's that's just that's just southern white girl energy. Maybe. Maybe. That's just SWG. That's all that is. Yeah. SWGE, sorry. <clears throat> That's all that is. That's it's yeah. fine. It's it's normal. There are uh persistent rumors that suggest that members of this research team managed to snap a series of extraordinary photographs of the thing during their brief encounter, but these images were allegedly suppressed in order to spare the government funded research team the shame and financial ruin of being associated with this unusual event. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I want to take a second here. Yeah. If if this was real, there would be no shame in like a, a, a would novel be, discovery, especially if it was a government research boat. Yeah, there would be literally no shame in 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 like documenting a megafauna, right? Because yeah. like, how many megafauna are actually like left in the world to discover? Basically zero. Like, to discover, I arguably yeah. probably almost it, none. It, it's pretty close, right? Um, it's a number very close to zero. I mean, <sighs> like what? What we've got the uh, what the frilled shark was a somewhat more recent one. Um, some species of squid, maybe. Not, yeah, not a lot. I mean, it's mostly going to be underwater if it's going to be anywhere. Right. And yeah. Like, it, there's not a lot of chances to find new megafauna. So nobody in their right fucking mind would like not share this. Yeah. And like, also, this would be like a slam dunk for for like the this, this would be a slam dunk for the research community of Japan for biologists. Oh hell yeah! Right? Yeah. Like they would like they would fucking do it. Like I don't think people realize. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. A lot of people are not involved in academia. Right, and yeah. what what people don't realize is one of the most important things is that in academia is to get people to cite your shit. And yeah. here's the thing: an actual megafauna of like like a very different, very divergent megafauna that you have demonstrable proof of that would be a huge fucking deal. Yeah, no shit. That that's also why I I personally don't believe that. Uh, there's like a group of people of scientists who know about extraterrestrial life or something like that because they would absolutely have published about it. They they would have published it and then just put it behind a paywall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. Oh, if anybody needs to get away around a paywall, uh, go to my channel on Discord. I've got a uh, I've got myself. It sometimes works. Oh, uh-oh. uh-oh. It doesn't work for all academic articles, and I've lost you. John, oh, what's happening? Um, Going to uh, end huh. the call and then reach John, see if that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Voltron's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm going to Did save. You lose power. Save. Something so, new that's never happened before. Technical difficulties. So what were we were talking about? Something around. Uh, academic like researchers yeah oh paywalls we were talking about paywalls we were talking about paywalls yeah so so yeah what happened was brandon's computer went black um and he was able to hopefully knock on wood salvage the audio uh i i I, it should be safe i believe it's safe. safe um so we had to restart the recording uh while brandon was talking about the paywall stuff which makes me think it's a targeted attack it is a targeted attack 
Oh. Um, but I will say this: not that doesn't work for every academic article. It doesn't. At least works for the local newspaper that always puts stuff behind a paywall. That's fair. Um, Which is always annoying, but whatever. And also papers that are behind paywalls when I'm trying to do research for uh, our stuff. For this stuff. Gets me around that. Um, they don't put Some... knowledge behind a fucking paywall, man. Don't. I, don't. I mean, there's this part of me that recognizes that businesses have to stay, like, pay their employees. But there's also this part of me that, yeah, I, I kind of in favor of free access. Yeah, free access. So. Also, I'm one of those weirdos that thinks, like, bookstores shouldn't be a separate business from schools oh well yeah that <laughs> that uh, we could talk about academic academic like books and yeah. like the the problems with that whole market it's an issue i my, one of my favorite professors um and this was work that he put in so i i don't i never communicated this but i very much appreciated it he would um, for lessons and all that, write stuff down, but he would write it down for the past five iterations of the book. So it'd be like, if you're on this issue, you want to do this section of pages. If you're on this issue, do this set. Because they intentionally move stuff around and tweak things. To, yeah, and, to, but it's the same shit. It's the same shit. So it he, is, yeah. knowing that there was like, they're expensive, but kids would also resell to like, upperclassmen resell to lowerclassmen because they're going to the same class. He yeah, would so like he would write on the chalkboard like the last five issues of of the textbook like here's where you should be looking. To be fair, like he also probably already had that from when he taught those versions of the textbook. That's true. Um, but but he didn't he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to, and no one else really did that. No, I've literally never heard of that. Although some of my, like a lot of my professors would just post the like bits that you need to care about. That was the other nice thing. They would make copies of the, they would, cause the teacher edition was um, ring bound. So I did have professors that would make copies of their ring bound textbook and just mm. distribute the copies of sections that you needed. That was the other nice thing. Um, nice. Because you know, you're in college, you don't, no one has, you know, an extra few grand laying around for fucking books. I mean, I don't have an extra few anything laying around for anything. So, it makes sense. Yeah. The I I am I, I want to point out, so there's two things I want to say. One, you were playing with the thing of chopsticks. Oh, you saw that? I did see that. Oh. Um I, I don't have anything else to say. I just I just wanted to point it out. The chopsticks. Yeah, he's got you chopsticks. You gotta keep chopsticks around. I've got these aren't even my good ones. I've got a set of um, stainless steel dining chopsticks in my in my drawer. I have I have a nice like lacquer finish pair of chopsticks There's, that I use, and then I, I also have I also have a drawer drawer just filled with chopsticks. Yeah, I dine in enough w with sushi that like it became worth it for me to get a nicer set of chopsticks than the kind that you have to snap apart. But also, Erica hates steel chopsticks, so we also collect. Um, wooden chopsticks. Well, just just get like the lacquer finish ones. Those are fine. I should do that. Maybe that'll be a yeah. birthday present. Yeah, get get a nice pair of lacquer finish ones because you can get them for oh. like ten bucks. Yeah, I could probably good. I could probably make a pair. Yeah, I mean, I'd say maybe just buy a pair so you don't accidentally fuck up the the lacquer because that could that could be toxic. Yeah. Oh, if I was if I was going to make my own pair, I would make them, but I would um, use cutting board oil instead of lacquer. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. Yep. Makes sense. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the popularity of the Ningen really kicked off when Mew Magazine, a magazine de dedicated to the paranormal, uh, published an article about the Antarctic humanoids. Uh, so, I want to take a second. Yeah. The no so, we, we have historically gone to a place called Mitsua. Right, it's yes. a Japanese market, right? Love me too. Well. Um, great, huh? Yeah, great I, food. I don't remember the last time I was there was like a couple months ago. I still go pretty frequently because I fucking love the food. Um, I will drive there just to get their rice, okay? Because it's actually better than any of the fucking rice in this area. It's so good. I order online shipments of right because what I did. Well, the last time we were there together, because I love their mm -hmm. sauces, 
is I uh, mm. I looked at the, the 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 labels of the sauces at the different the, vendors. Like, Onamikiyaki or whatever sauce. Yeah, I just and, butchered that. <laughs> the like pancake sauce, o- o- right? O- like o- 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 Okan and Naomi. Uh, yeah, the pancake yeah, sauce. It. Whatever I, it's uh, pancake what, sauce. Whatever said. I order that shit all the time. I believe that. Like, I I would love to go back to another one of those festivals, but you know, COVID. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would love to do um, that. But but anywho, what I was gonna say is, do you know how many times I've passed by a copy of Mew magazine and been like, I want to get this. Oh, I never even thought about that. I've I've thought about it multiple times, but it's like a twenty dollar magazine, and I'd have to yeah. like sit there with the the Google Translate fil- like lens the whole time. Yeah. But it's so they're weird. wild. I've had to use that for work. The the Google to read what? like oh like when I receive um foreign language uh, documents to review at work or labels, I use the mm-hmm. Google Lens. But it's freaky because um and maybe they fixed it because I haven't had to do it for a year or so. Um, the font size randomly changes as you're mm-hmm. holding it up. Well, you can take a picture and then like. Do oh, it. that's probably a better way to do it. I just that, hold that's... it up live, and it all the words keep jumping around. Um, well, yeah, it jumps around because it's like trying to match the like style, even though that's basically worthless. Yeah. So. Yeah. Whatever. Um. So the author wrote that these creatures are native to the waters of the southern oceans. The article included a Google Maps image off the coast of Nam- uh, Namibia showing the creature. There are actually surprisingly few pictures of the Ningen online. Is that uh, surprising? Is it? I, I would. I would. It. I would have thought there would have been more images, like the one at the top of the article, like more like user created type things. Um, uh, the vast majority being inspired art. Uh, there aren't even that many fakes out there. At least none being taken seriously. Um, You're I, actually missing one of the pictures. I want to point out. I'm missing one of them? You're missing one of the pictures. One of the ones that people call, like, legit. I, I, it's the one on the wiki. Yeah. Oh, see, I... I'm gonna put it at the bottom. I don't, I didn't use cryptid wiki. Yeah, throw it in there if you see it. I'm gonna Um, put it at the bottom. I can't find supporting evidence, but, uh, there are supposedly tons of men in black type agents silencing witnesses who see these creatures. The Shadow Organization is also one of the one releasing all the crappy photoshops and poorly edited videos to cover up the truth about the creatures and make the general population dismiss this as hoaxers. Um, What's the... Okay, okay. So what is... What is the truth, Brandon? Like, what is... Is there a truth that, like, is... This is totally what's happening. Are you going to get into something like that? Or is this just like people are like, they're silencing the truth, but they're not like even offering like a potential explanation for what the truth is. They're not even offering a potential explanation. Okay. Um, Wow. This is a, this is a really like at the very least, like, like, listen, say what you will about, about Slender Man and all that shit. Slender Man at least was consistent enough that two children thought that they should kill someone about it. Yeah. And you know what? At least they had some follow through. And that's really what the youth of today are missing. <laughs> Technically, they're kind of the youth of today. They're like still Hasht- 20. Hashtag bad takes Brandon. Um, that's. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and I, I know a question you've been thinking, but Brandon. Can I fuck it? And the answer is no. Uh, even with its gentle disposition, the blowhole contains a toxin. That's, well, that's right. why you use a condom. That's that's good thinking. That's, that's actually what condoms. Very good are, that's, that's why you wear. That's why you practice safe sex. That's double bag it, especially with a toxic the, blowhole. Mm, 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 mm. Don't double bag it. Don't double bag it because if you double bag it, it's gonna rip. <laughs> Just get Don't extra do that. thick. Just get it. Just get no, no. You just get the one. One's fine. One all you need for your protection, so you have a little extra material there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fair. We can do that. I, I don't care. Yeah. It's definitely if it's a blowhole, it's definitely not for the Ningen's pleasure whatsoever. No, that you know, the, the clits located on the blowhole. 
That's, no. That's listen. Maybe I didn't pay attention to during a, a, a biology class, but I'm pretty sure that's where they are. I don't think we talk. Well, no, yeah, we did talk about the clitoris in biology, didn't we? Yeah. But not its Our location. School- Mysterious. You know what's weird? Huh? Our school was, like, shitty about so much stuff, but, like, it didn't have a terrible sex ed program. It, I think it did the, the minimum, like, the bare minimum. I think it did the state required. Yes, but Brandon, but Brandon, it at least, like, explained what condoms were. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't think we had a particularly high teen pregnancy rate at our school, if my memory is correct. There was a few, but I don't think it was I don't know how, how it falls relative to like other state schools. Fair. I mean, Kingston had a way worse time of it. From yeah. My memory. I think but so. Anyway. Well, I don't know if that's real or if that's because they're like our nemesis. Kingston? Yeah. That was like the uh, rivalry. It, to be fair, Kingston has a fuck ton of more pe- had a fuck ton more people. Yeah. So ratio. We were like we were kind of we were kind of rinky dink. I think we had 150 people in our graduating class. Yeah. Like our entire all like four classes, classes of our school are small combined are smaller than individual classes of other schools. Yes. Um and it's worse now because the population's de- decreased in that area. So yeah, there's and in uh, this area too, it's there. Everyone's moving out. Everyone, everyone's leaving. Yeah, and then a bunch of rich people are moving in. They're they're, they're literally like the the rent went way up. Everyone that actually works in Kingston moved out to other areas and commutes because now all the city people are moving in because they can't afford mm-hmm. to live over their place it, of work. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. And then they're going to get rid of, you know, they're they're destroying half of the public parking to put in a hotel exclusively for people from the city. What? You didn't hear about the Kings- the Kingstonian. They're removing, you know how there's only two public car- parking lots in Uptown? Yeah, the the There's the one on the, top of the hill and the one on the bottom of the hill? Yeah. Well, there's there's also the the one across like there's there's two, like a park across from each other. I, yeah, they, and then there's the one on the bottom. Those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the one on the bottom is getting demolished to what to put in a hotel that's exclusively for people um, li- moving up from New York City, and they're giving uh, the company constructing it um, does not have to pay any taxes for ten years. Cool. Also, that is a hideous place to put a hotel. It's the worst spot. They're moving public parking. Also, um, well, it depends. There's, you get a great view of the Hannaford Plaza and the Old Ames. Yeah, you get the Old Ames, the Old Hannaford Plaza. It's funny because like there's nice spots around there, but there's also spots where like you might get punched from being from New York City. <laughs> oh, I mean that isn't that Uptown <laughs> like Kingston in general? There's there's, there's two, there's two spots like. Depending on what time of day you're visiting. <laughs> That's true. Like, like, if you're from the city... There's you're gonna only, find out. There's only a couple bars you should go to. <laughs> because at night, when all the people who can't live there anymore get off their shift, are, you're gonna be visiting drunk. the bars they go to. <laughs> you ain't gonna have no friends there. No. <laughs> um... A poster going by Anonymous writes about... Uh, I, I want to say, you'd have a pretty good joke there. You should probably step it back a sentence, because that was pretty good. Oh! Oh, yeah, sorry. On the topic yeah. of things that are to- toxic, let's dig into a report that was posted to the forum for channel. Um, oh, also, like, there's one, one, there's one person that gets a pass from the people that get... The, 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 the one person looking at you, Eric, you get a pass. You, you get to be cool <laughs> from the Z. Because you've lived here for a while. Um, before it was cool. Yeah, before it was cool. Um, City hipster. A poster going by... People call me a hipster, hipster at work, and I don't get it. You kind of look like a hipster, like a, a I classical look like hipster. It. I look like a classic like, hipster, but it's not because 
I, Are hipsters uh, even really a thing anymore? I think they moved on, but I look like a hipster because I gave up, and that's where my... Because I, I used to work on a farm, so I have a, boots and a lot of plaid, mm -hmm. and then COVID, I stopped getting haircuts. So I have long <laughs> hair and a beard... And I have boots and plaid, but it's because I used to work on a farm and I gave up on haircuts because of COVID. I'm not a hipster. It's kind of funny. I haven't changed anything about my style, but there's been at least one time where it came around to be like, oh, everyone just does this now. And I was just like, cool. Welcome to, to what I've been doing for a, like a decade and a half. You've been doing you for longer than I have, but there was 100% a point in time where like I had a similar thing where... Where it's like, no, I like cargo shorts because of the utility. I have lots of things to carry. I have a pair of cargo shorts still. There's Erica just bought me a pair of cargo shorts because I I, oh. I outgrew all my shorts. I did that too. <laughs> no shame in it. I had to I'd go up. I had to go up a size. Um, it's it's. I have a, a nice belt, and that I've been optimistically not putting in a new loophole in, and I. The other day, I was like, you know, I actually want to wear this out. I'm going to have to... I have leather working tools, so I, I can put it in. It'll look fine, but mm -hmm. I didn't want to uh, uh, tarnish the original, because I'll never be able to resell it if I have to, uh, the belt. Ah. Uh, but I want to wear I want to wear my belt. Um, a poster, going by Anonymous, writes that uh, they were new to the Coast Guard. Uh, in essence, they claim that for training, they went out on the water off the coast of Maine to do something on a 47 foot long boat on a November day at a portion uh, near the shore deemed haunted. That's uh, a fairly small boat. Yeah. Uh, it's a training exercise. It might, I, I don't know yeah. if it was one of those like inflatable pontoonies going on or what, what the No, I, I mean that, that could, that could be a, a solid construction boat. Like true, but it's not that big. A flat bottom. Like, yeah. Uh, they get to the haunted cove and begun, begin doing man overboard drills. They throw the life preserver uh, ring over the edge, uh, turn away for some reason, and when they turn back, also don't turn away from the man overboard. Bad practice. Yeah, no, that seems like a bad idea. When they turn back, the bright orange ring is nowhere to be found. Uh, there's some chit-chat about how life rings don't just disappear, and then something contacts the boat and the electronics die, and they hear whale what? sounds. Um oh. Okay. Something starts banging into the side of the boat again, and they go outside and drop flares into the water and see a large, ominous shadow. Uh, and whatever it was didn't have fins, but had long appendages that ended in five fingers. The that fi seems like a very maladaptive evolution for a water creature. Yeah, like it's kind of going backwards. Yeah, well, no, it would be going forwards, because it would be like as it's going to the the shore but like but to be purely aquatic and not like a havesies type deal yeah because even whales have fingers they're just all well they're, the they're combined yeah 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 uh a theory about what they could be uh as posted by user vertigo 22 is that they are At atlanteans uh what? most people know of the legendary city as described by homer in his odyssey uh for those that uh don't, that's, i don't that's, that's not right. That I when I wrote that, I read that just now, and I was like, "That's not. That wasn't the." Odyssey. Yeah, that it's it's Plato. It if my Plato. memory is correct. Yeah, it, it was it was in one of Plato's speeches. That it, it's a Plato. It's like a it's like a hypothetical city that was supposed to be idealized. Yeah, that that's yeah. I just correct. It. Um, it was in the Republic. <clears throat> yeah, for those who uh, that don't need. Or don't or need a refresher, uh, the gist of Atlantis is that it was either an extremely advanced city or an entire continent that vanished overnight is like what the modern, what people think it is. Um, yeah. Really, I like mean, John well, said, Plato gave a speech, used it as an example as like a hypothetical city. Um, yeah, it's it's not like... It, it. I don't know why people have latched on to Atlantis as being a real thing. I mean, at the very least, we did get a very good Disney movie out of it. Yeah, well, it's... So, here's the thing about Atlantis, water apes, um, and um, older uh, non-African or originating uh, human species. Is it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's strictly... It's, 
it's strictly racist. It's, it's yeah. Oh, hundred yeah, percent. That like it's all of them are people trying to like go find a, a root of uh, humanity that did not originate in Africa. Yeah, Which, it's super racist. That's that's cool, guys. Same thing with Atlantis. Is it's an hyper advanced and more ancient civilization than mm-hmm. the original origins as defi- as currently yeah. recognized by science. So it, yeah. It's, so they're they're white and they're more advanced and that's and they're the original. That's that's racism. That's that's why that's become popular. In, in let's let's pull the let's pull the old Wonder Shows and clip. The uh, that's racist. Yeah, that's it, th- th- that's where that's coming from. Whether people are aware of that's 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 why that's that. Uh, the location of Atlantis has been disputed for centuries. Some claimed it was near Greece. Others say it was in the Atlantic, and some claim that it was. Uh, in or around Africa. Uh, never have I seen it claimed to be as far south as Antarctica. Um, I actually think I've heard, not Atlantis, but I think I've heard of a theory about a uh, super advanced civilization living near Antarctica. Okay. I mean, the Hollow Earth like <clears throat> the hollow Earth involves I've, our Antarctica too. So I've heard about people flying past the edge of Antarctica and finding a hyper advanced civilization that yeah. way. Um, but that assumes that that's a flat earth type of thing. Um, but there's an argument. Well, no, hollow earth is different. <clears throat> hollow earth is different. Oh, they're, they're both earth- different. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're all different. The, um, I mean, also hollow earth has some implications of Nazis still existing there. So. Uh, yeah, that's the hollow. That's where the, 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 the giants with the blonde hair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of them. Yeah. But there is an argument to be made of the Atlanteans fleeing or migrating south, or entire underwater city, cities being built by them. Whatever is the there, case may be, yeah. Is is there an argument for that? By other people. <laughs> but what's the like, Brandon? What is the? What is like? What are the, what are their supporting facts? Do they have any documents? Do they have any any images? Any? historical records of course they don't that's why they have to make shit up on web forums but that's not but that's not an, it's like barely that's i don't like calling that an argument well actually i guess argument would be the best way to put it because it's not a debate it's not a debate they're just arguing things <laughs> they're just shit posting maybe it's not an argument they're they're shit posts to be made um uh some posit that the Ningen are Atlanteans who've rapidly evolved over time to, be, to become more animalistic than human in appearance. They've also That's managed, how evolution works. Of course it is. Uh, they've also managed to grow ten times the normal size of a human, uh, if we were to believe that the Ningen is 60 feet long. Um, I can go ahead and say that this one is false, since we know that the Atlantis city was invented by Plato. Oh, I got it right in this one. You did uh, get it right in the second time. As a metaphor in his dialogues, Timaeus and uh, Critias describing an island nation who, as they grew more powerful, their ethics began to decline, and they were smited by the gods and driven into the sea. Yeah, um, it's a, it's like a hubris story. Like that's yeah. that's, it's a cautionary tale. It's like an allegory for like, hey, don't like, don't put scientific advancement ahead of being like a decent y- human. Being. Yeah, so it's it's. So Icarus was a story about a person and hubris, and Atlantis was a story about a civilization and hubris. Exactly. Same yeah. rough thing. Yeah. Yeah, except instead of flying to the sun, they all well, fall and then falling to, to, <laughs> falling to their death, they all just drowned. Um, mm-hmm. Another theory, is this one is not a cryptopedia first, is that they are USOs or unidentified submerged objects. Uh, last time you heard this was on episode 93, Baja Beasts, about the Black Demon. The idea that aliens are here and are living in the ocean is not a new one. Um, yeah, it's a pretty common one. Yeah, there is a theory that it's an albino whale, which I partially explains some of the images. Uh, the third image up from here, I believe, uh, to be the corpse of a whale, perhaps. Oh, the, like, the Google Maps one? Uh, not the Google Maps one, the one with the... Um, uh, what was this gem stack? Uh, looks like it could just be like a whale I, corpse. I don't, I don't even think that that one's real at all. Uh, yeah. I, I just, I don't even think it's real. 
I don't think any of the images in this entire document are, are of real? anything factual. You, you don't find the one to the left of this paragraph to be uh, 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 really riveting? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, that one's real. That yeah. That's the one real one. Yeah. Uh, while many of these ideas don't have legs, this totally credible <laughs> image I found online of a Ningen does. Another theory Rimshot. is that... <laughs> Another theory is that the the Ningen is a descendant of an ancient species of sloth that adapted to live in the ocean. As times have changed, the sloth realized um, it had to change uh, to survive, and so the Ningen came to be. Uh, not what? much else more to it than that. What? Um, Wait. Another, yeah. Wait. Okay. There's a lot to unpack here. All right. And you just kind of, like, went past it. What? Okay. Who thought sloth, first of all? Why it's, sloth? I don't know why sloth. Maybe it's because of the long arms? I don't know but why like, sloth. It's out like, there. You can look, like, if you look, look, people are making or copying and pasting the same argument that it's sloth. But, like, but like orangutans have long arms. Lanky. Lanky. Maybe yeah. it's just a lanky. Maybe it's just Lanky Kong. Yeah. But he like dyed his his fur white. He <laughs> Cuz he got he he ended up on some of those bad parts of the internet. He's You're older, his hair about. fell out. Um male pattern the other baldness thing, over the whole body. Yeah. Th- the other thing is how did it choose to evolve? I don't I don't I don't it, it's a choice, John. Uh, it's a choice. I feel. It's- I feel like a lot of a lot of. All right. So either a, it's shit posting, right? Or b, it's people who literally don't understand the basics of evolution. It's both. Why Fair. choose? It's both. Um, yeah, I guess these are a bit too close to the. Oh, I actually wrote about this in this one. Sorry, if, if it. If to listeners, if it sounds like this is my first time reading it, it's when did I write this? Is there you wrote this like around when when uh, if my memory is correct, before you wrote this around my when my daughter was born. Yeah, so you before did like November a, of last year, I wrote like a I'll tell you exactly ton. when it was written. Oh wait, no, this one was after she was born. Oh okay, you wrote this on December twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. Okay, but yeah, from six a.m. to. December 28th at 10:31 p.m. Okay. Fair. I have the details. You you've got you've got the you now everyone knows exactly how long it took me to do this one. Yep. <coughs> but yeah, see I, it's, it takes a while to do these. Um but yeah, this is this is from when I wrote a whole bunch of them because I had a baby and I wasn't sure when I'd have time uh and I wanted to keep this thing going. Um You see Brandon, you see the thing is Brandon was like forward thinking. I, meanwhile, do not have the next episode even selected yet. <laughs> yeah, well, I get to have fun now with with now that I, I, there is a backlog. I like going to the Jackalopes chat and being like, "All right, here's a here's That's a few true. options. P- pick one." So this one was the Japanese fishing vessel uh, option that people were talking about in the Jackalopes chat. Um, these are a bit too close to the aquatic ape theory that has been becoming more popular and is problematic uh without getting it uh getting into it a user on the novantium forum summarized it pretty well saying that i might mention that the aquatic ape theory came from alistair hardy a racist who wanted an origin for humans uh cough cough white people outside of africa although it's rarely stated outright in modern writings pro aquatic ape theory papers still use the term uh, racial differences and comparative evolution and use thinly veiled racist stereotypes to talk about African apes. Um, Wait, but... <laughs> okay. So this is fucking stupid. It, it, it is. And if you go to like, the Novinsium or whatever and find the article, I think I linked it somewhere. There's like, a whole thing on it. But like... It's super fucking stupid because, like, if if white people were a different species than non-white people, 
their children couldn't reproduce, and we know that they can. Yeah. Like, this is so easily falsifiable. Yeah. They're grasping Like, you don't it. even have to... You don't even have to try to falsify it. Like, I literally just... I literally just thought for, like, a millisecond, and I knew why it was bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. They're grasping at straws. <laughs> They're desperately trying to be <laughs> so different from people that they don't like because of their dumb. <clears throat> uh... Another misidentification for the Ningen is a large white ray type creature. Uh, while not 60 feet, they can grow up to 23 feet, which is still pretty damn big, and give someone a beer and 23 feet turns into 60 feet pretty fast. Um, I mean, to be fair, me looking at something, the difference between 20 feet and 60 feet is not big enough that my eyes would be able to, like, my brain might not easily tell that. Yeah. It's especially if you're not used to... If you're not used to dealing with things of a certain scale, yeah, then then your your judgment becomes far less. Uh, well, uh, also, uh, also if you're dealing with uh, if you're dealing with water, it probably s- deals with the same issue that you deal with when it comes to like land, right? Like when when it mm-hmm. comes to the air, right? You don't yeah. have a good frame of reference. Yes, yeah. the time. no frame of reference, no context to uh, judge things against. Yeah. Um, there are many other theories, but they peter out pretty fast. Some think aliens, uh, some think it's, uh, a, a Kappa or a Baku. Um, isn't a Baku, like, the tapir that eats dreams? Yeah, it is. Is that what it is? Yeah. Tapir Mon is a Baku. Oh, okay. Not Baku Mon, interestingly, but Tapir Mon. <laughs> that... Strange choice. Uh, Muna. Muna is also a... Uh, Muna from Pokemon. The, like, purple one. The pink uh, okay. one, rather. That's When's a, the new that's one a, come out? The new... Hang on. Uh, okay, November. Hold. Usually it's November. When Pokemon You know what? Released. That makes sense because I played a... Sh- that's why I played... Um, right after Pika was born. I played mm-hmm. a shit ton of Pokemon. So that explains mm-hmm. why. All right, so I'll do that because yeah. every year I buy two. I bo- buy both of them and give one to my sister. Fair. Yeah. Anywho, so that's the episode. That's the episode. Why would you? I I don't even understand how a Baku would fit into this. Kappa I can kind of get, but Baku doesn't make sense. It's people be talking some shit online. People be racist too. People be racist. I mean, the fact that it's called a Ningen kind of belies like some very questionable things because ningen is the as we said is the japanese word for human human. so like there's some things there to unpack and we kind of touched on them and i don't know if you and i have the level of understanding of that type of like that cultural problem to even come close to understanding all of the ins and outs of it. No. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah. Um, Alright, so I guess we could start plugs. Want to do plugs? We can do plugs? plugs. Well, let's do plugs. So if Butt you enjoy plugs. the podcast, we're not, we're not advertising Extreme Restraints this week. Adam and Eve? Nope. None of them, none of them answer my calls. <laughs> um, You're calling them. Yeah, they put me on the blacklist. <laughs> I can't email them anymore. It, they all just get returned. So I have to call them. From like different different call, uh fake Call their customer fake. service hotline in like a fake panic. I'd be like, it won't come off. It created a vacuum. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> um so our website is cryptopediacast.com. Instagram is at cryptopediacast, Twitter is at cryptopediacast. If you want to email us, it's cryptopediacast at gmail.com or us at cryptopediacast.com. Uh, we have a YouTube channel, which is going to be in the show notes, and there's an auto transcription feature that happens there. Uh, I haven't had time to go through and fix the transcriptions, so there's about 114 transcriptions that are questionable at best. So have but fun with that. They're there. They're there. Um, 
at some point I want to fix them for the accessibility factor, but I just... I end up sleeping a lot when I should be doing other things. Yeah. So I have I to put like all that, my energy that, into the things I care about. I need to do. We have um, content available for, for uh, people with hearing hearing impairment. It's it's technically content. It's it's we we technically it's content. It is technically content. It was not at all like it hasn't been fixed for them to be actually good content, but it's technically content. Yeah. So it's yeah. consumable. You can consume it. Yeah. You yeah. sure can. You sure can. Absolutely. Um, so uh, we have a Patreon that uh, funds the hosting of this podcast as well as stupid decisions like buying a, uh, a, a spear box. box. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank the Jackalopes who enabled this this these bad behaviors. Uh, Clay Sinclair, Marty Von Party, Bert Schneider, Lenwood Sharp, Matthew Smith, Bushcraft Kelso, and Will Smith. Uh, we have a Discord where a bunch of stuff gets talked about, and the Jackalope channel, I think Brandon has been doing, like, people get to choose the next episode things. So there's that. Yeah. Um, if you enjoyed the podcast, be sure to rate, review, subscribe. Um, you can do that on uh, Spotify now, Dope. I guess. Um, if you have any monster requests or stories, send them. Uh, if anyone's going to be able to use them, it will be me because uh, I have a very bad habit of waiting until the last minute to pick something. So, you know, you'll be helping me. <laughs> uh, you could find me on Instagram at donkey underscore hands if you want to see babies, guitars, or a shed. Um, my website mm -hmm. is boyerb.com. My email is brandon at cryptopediacast.com. And my Twitter is at crypto brandon. How's that shed coming? Coming along. I put a door on it. Nice. Almost killed myself. 186 pounds, roughly. Um, so that door ain't going nowhere. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and all the screws I did from the... What would be the inside, so it can't be disassembled from the outside. Mm. So, so, no so, so someone can't just, like, pop in... Pop the hinges off or whatever. So you can't pop... So, like... So if it's locked, you can't just disassemble the door. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ain't no one taking my my damn lawnmower. Hey, fucking lawnmowers are expensive, so you know. Yeah, mine can not. be expensive. <laughs> mine is not. <laughs> mine's not either because mine is like literally falling apart on me. So, yeah, that's what you do with them, though. You use them until they just absolutely don't start, and then you then you when you have to get one. Mm hmm. And then you buy cheap, which is then why they fall apart later on. Yeah. <laughs> um, my Instagram is at Mew2057. Uh, mine, in contrast, is mostly pictures of cats and action figures. Yeah, fair. A whole lot of action figures. Lots of them. Nice ones, though. Yeah. Eh, questionable. <laughs> I, I buy some terrible things just because they're terrible. Like that's that is explicitly a play in my playbook. Um <laughs> I mean I have I literally have a bootleg uh uh whatchamacallit? Jet Icarus uh Jetman like combined mecha behind me that I have it's new in package because it the packaging is the best part of it, and it calls it the Hawk Overlord. And I love it. There's oh on bootleg stuff. <clears throat> I thought it'd be funny to just like buy fake designer shit. Um, mm -hmm. and the problem I ran into is that you can't buy one of a thing. You have to buy like there's a minimum buy of like 200 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then immediately I went like, that's why New York City, there's all those people with the blankets of like designer bags and shit on the road. They're just going to like, well, like Alib I went to Alibaba looking for like, and you can mm -hmm. buy designer things up, air quotes, designer things of Alibaba. For like mm. super cheap, like dollars. Um, yeah. Uh, but there's minimum buys, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's all just shit from Alibaba that you're getting." Yeah, yeah, and they also charge it. They charge a considerable markup because remember, I remember I wanted to buy a shitty like a Frolex. Yeah. At one point, 
So I was looking around, and it was like still like seventy bucks for a Frolex, and I'm just like, I don't want to spend that much on a I, joke watch. I got a few watch, not not a, not fake Rolexes, but I got a few watches from the city that I was like, you know what, for this <sighs> price, it's good for just a watch. Okay, okay, I. My Twitter is at jfdunham. My website's johndunhamgames.com. My email is johncurtrebecast.com. So before we finish up, yeah. um, uh, 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 I bought a hand vacuum. Okay. Like a, a <clears throat> keyboard vacuum. Yeah. Because I wanted it for mini, like, mini, because I've been doing yeah. a lot of Gundam, like, a lot of kits. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to, like, have something to clean up the, the sprue, like, cuts. I got sent a G-Shock, a $75 G-Shock watch instead. What? Yeah. So I have, like, a nice watch. Like, not nice, nice, but, like, it's a dot. It can go 200 meters of water resistance, which is not oh, bad. Nice. Um, but, yeah, I got sent that, and then I complained, and then I got a refund, and I got to keep the watch. Hell, yeah. But I didn't, I also didn't tell them that they sent me a watch. Oh, you, you just, just said you didn't receive your whatever? Yeah, because it's technically true. That's, te- that's yeah, that's technically true. I got a lot of free shit when I first moved in um, because I didn't realize that sometimes, because I've got like a door and then a storm door like for uh, mm-hmm. at my front mm-hmm. door, I didn't realize they were putting stuff in between my two doors. So I got a, two of a lot of things for a period because I was like, am, I was like, they never deliver. It's like it says it's delivered. It's never here. And then like, because I I don't use my front door. I use a different door to get into my house. And then yeah. like the one time I opened my door, like all this shit fell into the house. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I have so many things. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've I have so many cardigans and razor blades. <laughs> Amazing. Well, razor blades is a good. Uh, that's a good. That's a good pull. Yeah, I've got thousands. <laughs> wanna um, wanna finish up our plugs? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, our art was done by Tom Hill. You could find him on Instagram at Thomas Mug Hill. Oh, he's also been doing the uh, "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia" uh, live um, uh, artwork. Oh, really? Yeah. Neat. If you if you look at the "Always Sunny" live, um, I'll have to, event I'll have and, to check uh, out. artwork. He, he's been, I think he's he's been posting it there too on Instagram. Nice. Um, his website nice. is greatergloryco.com and his email is tommikehill at gmail.com. As always, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And things are going to get weird. Sauce.